Hey, I'm Tucker. And I'm Sophie. And, and we're, we're Sophie, Sophie Tucker. Tucker. And this is our live stream setup. So we've gotten a lot of questions over the past year now of live streaming of what type of stuff we use and how we do it. And a huge part of what we do is this thing called Restream. When we started, it was very confusing and it was like the Wild West. No one really understood like how do we get direct audio, what is Twitch? And then we discovered Restream. Right. And so then we were able to actually stream to Facebook and to Twitch at the same time, which is very, very important because my mom watches Facebook. <laughs> Gotta make sure she gets the uh, top quality stream. We are DJing on two CDJ 3000s, which are the new Pioneer CDJs, which we recently got, and they're unbelievable. I love them. I've also got this GJS 1000 sampler that I also play the guitar through and sample a bunch of our tracks and also samples of people who send in samples of their own voices that we get to play throughout our sets. Shout out the Freak Fam. We're playing music that comes out of these CDJs, out of Sophie's guitar and out of this sampler. I'll go into this mixer. This new Pioneer mixer that has six channels and crazy effects and two vocal mic spots, which is perfect for us, two separate mm -hmm. headphone spots with separate controls, which is perfect for us, and separate cues on each channel for two separate DJs. So for us, it's like the perfect thing. And then it all comes out with this, this little uh, Covered in RCA. green tape. Covered in green tape <laughs> so you can't see it. So it blends into the green screen. Goes into a Focusrite interface there. And then goes into OBS, which is a program where we do any overlays, any green screening. And then that signal is sent to Restream. And then Restream disperses it throughout wherever we want it to go. We didn't have to buy like multiple computers and multiple cameras. We actually have one set up. We've got a computer and a webcam. And then we're able to send that to, you know, whatever websites we want to do. So for us every day, it's Facebook and Twitch, but you know, it could be VK or, or any other website. When we were starting, we had, I think we had every cell phone in the house was being used yeah. at once <laughs> to stream to different platforms because we realized after we started on Instagram that we were missing so many people because so many people in different parts of the world use different platforms and not that many people use Instagram in certain parts of the world and we know like uh, we have a big following of people towards the Middle East and other parts of the world on Facebook that we weren't being able to stream to and that didn't feel fair. And we found that people are really partial to whatever platform they decide like people who watch our, our sets on Facebook like they're not going to move from Facebook. The other amazing thing that Restream does for us as performers is we have a TV screen right in front of us that we have Sophie's separate computer um, connected to so we can see the chats. And I think a, a big part of us feeling so connected is the community that's built and us being able to, like we can't see people dancing and grooving, but we know when a song is hitting because we can read the chats. And the we, emojis just blow up. That's like the way <laughs> we can you know, feel people dancing in front of us is, is now the chat instead of a, a dance club or a field or a, a dance floor. And it's actually made us feel extremely close to the people that are watching because because we stream so consistently too, we started to recognize the usernames. So we have these relationships with people, you know, with their usernames and we're constantly like learning about their personalities, learning about their lives, like while we're streaming. And we can actually see the comments from Facebook and from Twitch from where we are. And it's, it's honestly, it's in the community. Restream. Yeah, in it, Restream. It's it, community it puts, building. So what we did for so long was we would miss all the Facebook chats because 
we would just be looking at the Twitch on the TV. And then it was like we were only paying attention to the people in Twitch. On Restream, you can see both chats at the same time and there's just an icon telling you if it's from Facebook or Twitch. And so then all the people from both are in a chat room together so we're not missing anyone, which is like really, really cool for us. So the Freak Fam is the community that was built around the daily DJ sets that we've been doing for more than 300 days. We did 200 something consecutive days and then we've been doing like three or four times a week and having guests um, come in on our page and stream to the community. So the Freak Fam is the community that, that's built around the sets, still going strong, still growing all over the world. We're even able to stream to other RTMPs. It's basically if you want to go to a friend's website or uh, stream live on a TV show. We've been able to work with different charities, with different organizations, with different websites, with different artists, and have it be super, super streamlined. So that's also really why we've been able to do it every single day. The other thing we, we do with Restream also is we have different artists. Since we stopped doing every single day, we were doing 1 p.m. Eastern time every single day for 200 something days. Once we cut it back a little bit to work on our album, we wanted to keep the the culture yeah, and the, consistency. the community going so that people had that during this pandemic, whatever they were going through, they still had every single day the Freak Fam community to be there for them. So we have other artists play on the days we don't play. And the way we're able to handle that and have them in on the Sophie Tucker Twitch channel is through Restream as well. I do think that when the pandemic is over, which hopefully is soon, we will keep live streaming because this particular mode of communication and live streaming and performing and sharing music is really unique and actually has, has benefits over, you know, going to a city and playing because when you're in Frankfurt, you can only play to the people that are in Frankfurt, but when you're streaming like this, I mean, we're reaching worldwide so many people at the exact same time. So the other thing that's so cool is that the Freak Fam, the community, they're making friends with each other all over the world, not just in their own cities. Our life used to be traveling, touring, meeting people, playing shows for those local, you know, communities, and now it's become we play one show a day, or you know maybe a little less now, but we play one show to people everywhere in all the communities at once. Well-known artists as well as up-and-coming new artists have asked us about streaming and how you know sort of discouraging it is to start from nothing. And the only thing we can say is keep grinding and stay at it because when we started, there was only a few people watching. And then it uh, it just grew and grew. Basically, without Restream, there is simply no way we would have been the number five artist live streaming in the entire world in 2020. Still blows my mind. Blows our minds.